Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. This is the second in a series of videos on the topic, the spiritual powers of omniscience, omnipresence, and omnipotence on earth today. Things to look out for by Alice B. Claggett. This the second in the series is entitled, Our Dark Body and Our Body of Light. Uh, this is a topic I've put together from uh, from my experience of a spiritual teacher who practiced this uh, city, this, this psychic power. And uh, I, my experience had to do with the astral realm and higher. And um, I came to the conclusion that there is a dark body that everyone has that's the counterface of the body of light and that these two bodies, these two aspects of the subtle body, which might be termed the dark light body, um, represent our souls in the negative astral realm and the positive astral realm, respectively. Sometimes, in the case of a spiritual teacher, there's like um, bleed through, in fact, in the case of everyone, most likely, but the more so with a spiritual teacher because his lead through of the dark to the light uh, filters into the subconscious minds of all the people in the group and so the effect is more resonant in the newosphere. So so basically what I'm putting forth in this in this video is my own synthesis of information regarding the body of light and the realm of duality. I came up with a notion that we also have a dark body. We have a body of light and a dark body. That's the case in the third and the fourth dimensions, in the physical realm and in the astral realm. In the higher realms, there's very little of that, and increasingly less so the higher up the, and the energy gets, the more refined the energy is. And now to proceed with this very short section. In the third and fourth dimensions, the realm of duality, people have both a body of light and a dark body. The body of light is that radiant body beyond good and evil, beyond human notions of morality, that carries with it an understanding of omniscience, omnipresence, and omnipotence. The dark body carries the spiritual person's soul wounding. For example, samskaras, morphogenetic field distortions, or karmic miasmic patterning, as these are sometimes termed. It carries these exclusions of the light from lifetime to lifetime. Well, dear ones, that's all for now. May you be blessed with God's light and love and infinite joy and peace. Until next time.